Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen Stosny, and welcome to Basic Humanity, the bridge to well-being. It may surprise you to know that the key to emotional well-being lies in our most humane values. The human brain is the most social organ on Earth. As a species, humans must cooperate for survival. Hence, we have innate interest in the well-being of others, alongside the wary, aggressive traits of our nature. We always have a choice of which part of ourselves we develop, wary, aggressive, or basic humanity. When we feel humane, we realize a little bit of each of us is in all of us. When we feel humane, we feel more connected, resilient, valuable, less guilt, fear, resentment, and depression. We're proactive, not just reactive. We're outward directed. Humanity pours out of you, not into you. And self-rewarding, you like the way you feel. In short, Life has more meaning. Now we lose touch with basic humanity when inflated ego makes us feel better than others at the cost of genuine self-value. Pretending to be better than other people devalues them and devaluing others puts us in a devalued state. See, when you feel valuable yourself, you have no motivation to devalue anyone else. It's only when your self-value is lower that you even think of doing that. Now, out of touch with basic humanity, we're locked in a prison of self. The sense of self grows fragile in constant need of validation by others. Now, basic humanity and personal well-being, I really believe they're inseparable. Now, which of the following attitudes will make you like yourself better? There are lots of cruel people in the world, or most people are more frail than cruel. They're narcissistic, manipulative, liars, hypocritical, or they'd probably help a child in danger. I'll be respectful if you agree with me and validate my experience. Or, I'll be respectful because it's the right thing to do. My respect will make it likely that you'll be respectful to someone else, just as when I'm disrespectful it makes it likely that you'll disrespect someone else. And then the person you're respectful to will be respectful to another person who then may be respectful to yet another person. So we emotions are vastly contagious. We spread positive throughout the universe or negative. Don't fool yourself about facts when it comes to these attitudes. All value judgments are biased and at best, only partially true. Left on autopilot, judgments are based on how we feel at the moment. When we feel good, our judgments are mostly positive. When we don't feel good, we assume the worst, which prolongs bad feelings and becomes self-fulfilling prophecy because people react the worst to us. To achieve personal well-being, choose the most benign judgment realistically possible. You can't live in a fantasy world, but most judgments are, most value judgments are valid to some extent. If you choose the most benign judgment realistically possible, it will be the most humane. Barriers to basic humanity, in addition to a fragile ego, that's probably the biggest barrier, but that doesn't affect most people.
A strong sense of basic humanity makes life good. A weak sense makes it bad. So what keeps us from choosing basic humanity? And that's inhibitions and constraints. An inhibition is an internal control of behavior and a constraint is an external control of behavior. So my sense of morality will keep me from shoplifting or hurting someone. Uh, but if that's not enough, the law will also keep me from doing those things. So the law is the external constraint. My sense of morality and the right thing to do is my internal control or inhibition. Now, inhibition of basic humanity tends to be we feel vulnerable to judgment or rejection. We are kind of exposing ourselves when we allow ourselves to experience a sense of basic humanity. And the constraint is too much suffering, anger and aggression in the world. It's overwhelming. If you open yourself up to that, you'll be overwhelmed. Now, overcoming inhibition, focus on self-reward, not how your efforts are received by others. How your efforts are received by others depends on their basic humanity, not yours. Now, which is likely to have the greater long-term reward? Acting humanely with a negative outcome, in other words, you get rejected, or violating your humane values with a positive outcome, some gain. To overcome constraints, focus on what you can do, not on what you can't do. You can't fix the world, but you can make it a tiny bit better just by respecting everyone. Now here's a major experiment to try for the next two weeks. Be mindful that nearly everyone has basic humanity. There are a few psychopaths who lack it, but there are too few of them to worry about. Even the person acting like a jerk right now would rescue a child in danger. Recognize that most people are more frail than cruel. Raise your self-value by valuing others. Respect each and every person. Do some small thing every day to make the world a better place. Use the vast contagion of emotions to spread positive regard. If you do the above consistently for the next two weeks, you'll experience more frequent and longer lasting 